Hello all, today I'm going to be talking about The Elder Scrolls Online and is the Imperial Edition worth buying? Now with the Imperial Edition you get the race in the Imperial, you get the Imperial White Horse, and with the race being Imperial, you get to craft Imperial gear. Now, the Imperial skill tree and passives include Shield Affinity, which is you gain experience with one headed and shield line by 15%, Conditioning increases maximum stamina by 4, 7, or 10%, that's 3 skill points, Red Diamond, Melee attacks have a 10% chance to restore 2, 4, or 6 health, and that once again takes 3 skill points to max it out to 6 health. And Tough increases maximum health by 4, 8, and 12%. So, it seems like they're loring out, or I guess loring out, they're making the Imperial race a warrior race, kind of like the Red Guards, except for less stamina based, and they have this cool weird ability called Red Diamond. Now, it seems like they're Imperial. They made Imperial not overpowered, but just different. Like, no one else has a red diamond ability. It doesn't seem that good, but it seems like it could, cut, it could come in handy with, like, a lifesteal uh, build or something like that, with, like, a night blade. Alright, now the next thing you get when you buy the Imperial Edition is the White Imperial Horse. Now, the horse is actually pretty cool. Horses in this game are really, really expensive, just like they were in Skyrim. Even though Skyrim, they were less expensive. In this game, they're, like, 40k or something like that for a really good horse. But horses are different, they don't die, it's like a permanent horse that you summon in by whistling. And this is the Imperial horse, it's white, and you can buy it for one gold at the start of the game when you're the Imperial race. Or not Imperial race, when you buy the Imperial edition. You don't even have to be an Imperial to get the horse. And once again, you don't have to be the Imperial race to be able to transfer uh, items into an Imperial style. So if you're getting the Imperial edition and you like the Imperial armor, you don't actually need the Imperial style to get that armor. Alright, now we're going to be talking about the transformation to Imperial gear. Basically... All you have to do is just right click an item, doesn't even matter if it's in your inventory or not, and you can click convert to imperial style. As you can see it's right there for me, and you convert it, and what it does is it binds it to your account, so you can't just be the guy who makes imperial gear and sells it in chat or something like that, and then it changes the style of it. I believe since this was beta there was only one style of staff, so whenever you converted anything to an imperial staff it made that silvery thing, but uh, I think it still looks really cool. And uh, for gear also, if you just right click. Since that one's already imperialized, it doesn't matter. Now the next thing you get are the Rings of Mara. And what the Rings of Mara do, and not the wings, the Rings of Mara, <laughs> they boost your experience when playing with another person once you've done the ceremony. So you go, I think there's a ceremony place in most of the places. You go, do the ceremony, and you are bound to that person in marriage or whatever the Mara thing is. And you get a bonus experience when you play with them. But another thing with this is it can stack. So what I've heard. So you can play with three people, and each person has a Ring of Mara linking, to the, to, le, linking them to the other two people. So you get a huge experience bonus, and you level up much faster. So anyway, that is mostly my overview of Imperial. Uh, in my opinion, you should get it, or maybe not get it at the start of the game, but if you're really liking the game and you want something else with it, and you're getting bored of the content you're getting, and you maybe want to play as a new race or something like that, you should upgrade to Imperial, because they let you do that. You can upgrade to Imperial at any time, which is actually a really good business model for them, because they're going to make more money anyway. So once again, let's just do a little overview here. Imperial race you get, you get the Rings of Mara, you get the Imperial armor, you get the horse, which I think is actually going to be a really good bonus. And yeah, so if you think this is interesting you, subscribe. I'm going to do a bunch of Elder Scrolls Online videos, and I'll see you next time.